Talks about the princess. Uh, oh, talking with different. the yeah, totally different. But because uh, they uh, uh, they translated the songs because they can use uh, uh, American themes in the during the fascism. Yeah, even, even yeah. Louis Armstrong was and Louis Armstrong was Luigi Bracciforte, which means Armstrong. Armstrong. <laughs> they translated everything. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> during the from 22 to 45. I come from Sicily. Uh, and you gotta know that Sicily got a long story about um, about rockabilly because in the early 80s a lot of people I don't know why but that they started dancing and listening to rockabilly and uh, all the other guys uh, get involved in, in that um, in that scene uh, playing the music dancing going to the parties uh, after uh, 30 years now we are very few but we are still alive <laughs> Me and Sandra were schoolmates. Yeah. We were metal guys with long, long hair. <laughs> black, long hair. Skinny guys. No, 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 and uh, well, we just thank you all for coming out here. You know, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, <laughs> glad you're out here to hear some great music from some great friends of ours, the Don Diego Trio, all the way from Italy, for your listening and dancing pleasure. Like the rain, I hate you like a monthly pain. I'm gonna buy a brand new gun to shot into your face. I'm gonna buy a brand new car to run away. You switch off from your normal wife and then you, and then you go <laughs> normal to wife? Normal life, normal life, normal life, yeah. yeah. What? Normal life. Don't normal you. life. <laughs> I moved to South Italy four years ago. The best way to stop people by is uh, have a live band. And the music that can stop people is rockabilly because it's for young people, it's for old people, it's for all kind of ages. And uh, they just stop by and start to dance, move their feet, and uh, it's pretty universal language. Uh, I love that you, you like dancing on everything. <laughs> yeah, on <laughs> yes. everything. You, we we played, the, two days ago we played yeah. uh, for a, in, a, in a ballroom, uh, not, to, not far from New York. And um, we saw people dancing uh, and on stuff that I say it's impossible to dance on that. It's like train you stuff, uh, slow songs, very slow songs, uh, um, mid tempo songs. Valzer song. We gotta learn from you the respect of the music and um, the fact that uh, the music is a, um, a daily. Um, uh, can I say? Uh, daily, daily dose of help. Yeah, yeah. 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 The opposite. And the opposite. Um, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> now, probably the most thing, the most important thing, the, the big fortune we have. I have to drive a couple of hours, and I go from Italy. I go to Switzerland in an hour and a half. I can go to France. And uh, okay, we are very close, but everything changed in in, in so many. In a, in a little space, you know, and uh, in positive way, in a negative way, but but you gotta see everything. Even the way we play music is, uh, we're not proud of our music. Otherwise, we would play just Italian folk music. In this way, you can mix uh, American traditional music to Italian traditional music and mix the things together. We play from uh, Ray Price to Fred Buscaglione, and if you see something like that, it's it's. Uh, cultural mixture and uh, the final result is something bigger and better. Hey guys, Cameron Smith here, creator of the Teardrop Project. Those Italians are some really cool guys. To celebrate them, we're gonna cook some really great Italian sauce on the Cobb Grill. 
Thanks to Cowgirl for sponsoring this episode. Pixie, take it away. I mean, I don't know about you. I know lots of people like soup, but I like to eat a ton of pasta when it's raining outside. We're gonna disassemble the cob. Gonna put our fire starter in there. Look at that! That's amazing. I usually do about eight. And then we wait about 10, 15 minutes for it to heat up. And while we do that, we're gonna prep the vegetables. Just roughly chop it, because you're gonna blend it later. I normally measure my wine in glasses. So that's about how much wine I'm gonna put in the recipe. Okay, so then you're gonna put your cooktop on here, and I'm gonna stick the wok on top. So, nice big old splash of olive oil. All right, so we're gonna sweat down these onions and you're gonna just leave these on stirring occasionally until they get a little bit softer. All right, so now I'm gonna add the tomato, the, not the tomatoes, I'm gonna add the wine. Okay, I'm gonna add these tomatoes in. Basil. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on there and let it sit for about 10, 20 minutes. Just until the tomatoes are nice and squishy. Okay, so we're about uh, five minutes before the end. All the tomatoes are starting to get real nice and mushy. So I'm gonna add some of this garlic paste. So that's about, that's about a clove, clove and a half worth. And then you just wait another five minutes. All right, so now the final step is just to blend it as so. Little boy. Pasta sauce. Okay, and then this will thicken it up because the pasta starch and in about four minutes, we'll have delicious, yummy veggie ravioli cooked on the cob grill.